I think most Cavan supporters are of the opinion that Cavan are right to dig their heels in. And I suppose it's probably easy for me sitting in the press box and haven't seen them a lot in the last couple of years, particularly when they won Ulster. Like all the Cavan support miss out on that. So people are probably desperate to see them in the championship. Personally, I think the key point to it is you'd have to ask what sort of an attendance was this game going to get first and foremost. The column of work on the Sunday game last night, who was very familiar with Cavan football. So I thought he was off in his analysis where he, he, he actually mentioned the figure of 15,000. Not in the month of Sundays would Cavan and Antrim in an Ulster quarterfinal get 15,000. The last time Cavan played Antrim in an Ulster quarterfinal in Belfast, the attendance was uh, 7,096. I, I actually checked it back in 2000. That was 2008. In 2003, Cavan played them up there and the attendance was given as 7,000. In 2005, I couldn't find an attendance for the replay, but we played them in Breffney in the first round and the attendance was 10,000. And I can guarantee you it would have been a few thousand less than that because a lot of Cavan people wouldn't have gone to that replay having played poorly the first day out. So I think first and foremost, you have to ask how many people are not going to get into this game. I know Colm work also made the point about the Cavan farmers aren't going to want to spend the money on the diesel going up to Belfast. But there's a bit of truth in that too, though, because... You know, the price of fuel makes it a very expensive day out now as well. It's a good spin up from parts of Cavan to get the to get the or to Corrigan Park in the city. Like it's going to be a couple of hours. It's going to be an expensive day. I don't think you are going to get anywhere near ten thousand or anything like that. 